Makerspace, a place to be creative, solve problems, tinker, and build and test. So what's so good about a Makerspace? I'm Steve Clark and I'm the host of this video series, in which we'll set out to explore Makerspaces. We'll take a look at what it means to be a maker, how that affects the tasks that teachers design, and the impact that making can have on student learning. The videos will feature different makerspaces and also take a look into how they are all different from each other. We'll take a look at the staple tools that you will find in a makerspace, as well as the more expensive ones that you might begin to think about purchasing, but aren't really sure how they fit. The first six videos in this series will feature the following aspects of a school makerspace and the kinds of skills you should expect to see developing when students use the space effectively. In this first video, we'll take a look at the kinds of skills that making brings to learning. Then in subsequent videos, we'll explore specific tools and how they can affect the creative process. We'll then focus in on cardboard as a medium to build with. We'll explore why some educators say that cardboard is king when it comes to making in the classroom. The third video in the series will explore how robotics and coding can play a part in developing students' ability in computational thinking. In the fourth video, we'll take a look at how 3D printers and 3D design can be used to develop students' spatial reasoning. The fifth video in the series will focus in on laser cutters and the ability to create 2D images on a screen and then cut and engrave different materials using a laser. The final video in the first series will look at building with loose parts and the value of working with abstract materials to show your thinking. But first, what is a makerspace? And why have one in a school? What's so special about dedicating a space to building things and storing a pile of recyclable material as well as spending money on expensive high-tech tools? When teachers design the right kinds of tasks, the makerspace and the resources in it provide many opportunities for students to develop certain kinds of skills. The following highlights some of those. One of the most powerful aspects of a makerspace is that of giving students access to tools they might not see or have the opportunity to utilize in their own classrooms. In a student-driven and focused makerspace, students develop the skills to use tools of their choice, which in turn allows them to express their understanding of what they are learning about in a way that makes sense to them. The wide variety of tools in the makerspace allow for that autonomy to happen. By creating tasks that allow students to choose how they represent their learning empowers them to be more creative and think outside the box when it comes to what they create. Another very powerful aspect of what a makerspace will bring is the natural and organic form of collaboration that happens when students work through problems they have while making. By sharing what they are doing with their peers, students will support each other by sharing what they know about working with that particular material. One of the most reoccurring things that happen in a makerspace is failure. When students have ownership of their learning as well as strong support, they are able to work through these failures and problems. This teaches students that perseverance pays off and that most problems can be solved in some way or another. These problems come in the form of mistakes in the way something is built, machines not working in some way or another, or codes not executing as they were designed to. All these failures and issues that students have while working in the makerspace not only builds resiliency and perseverance, but also gives them a chance to work through and around problems, something that will become an important life skill in the future. So that brings us to the end of this brief overview of what a makerspace is and how it contributes to student learning and the kinds of skills that students can focus on when they work in this space and with different materials. Don't forget to subscribe to our videos and check out our next video in the series where we look at why some educators think cardboard is king. Teachers that are working in dynamic and vibrant makerspaces are always looking for uh, easily accessible materials for them to use with students. The one that we love the most 
in the MyMaker space is something that's almost always readily available and you can see it behind me. We always say that cardboard is king because it is such a versatile and flexible material. It will work great for uh, prototyping materials in an easy ideation phase, it, all the way up into a final product where it's painted or have graphics applied to it. It can be laser cut, students can use scissors, glue, um, X-Acto knives, just an all around great material to have in any makerspace.